Okay, class, for this video, Math 2015, Learning Outcome 18, Homer Kins, I'm going to demonstrate uh, number 20 um, in three ways. So the first one, it, the problem is 2x minus 1 times x minus 4. The quantity 2x minus 1 times the quantity x minus 4. I'm going to demonstrate that with algebra tiles, with open box method, and with partial products method in a drawing format so that you can kind of do this with your homework. Um, so first we're going to do this with algebra tiles. Okay. So I usually take the first factor and put that in the horizontal this is going to be, the algebra tiles are a, an area model. Let's put that as a horizontal. So 2x minus 1, I need to demonstrate here. So the area model, just like with multiplication of whole numbers. We're going to have 2x bars here. They're positive, so I'm going to cut them green, like they are in the actual algebra tile set. And the subtract one is going to be in red because it is a negative one, little square. Okay. And we're going to keep track of the positive and negatives with this one. So there's two x minus one right here. The next one we're going to do is we're going to do x minus 4 factor along the vertical. Okay, so we need a positive x bar drawn here, color that one green, and then the subtract 1, or subtract 4, so it's 4 negatives, 4 negative little squares here, 1, 2, 3, 4. They're going to be colored red because they're negative. And that way, that fashion. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to bring down by column by column the 2x minus 1, and we're going to do it x minus 4 times. Okay, so we're going to kind of bring down this first column here of x. We're considering the intersection between that, this x, here, and the x bar there. And when those intersect, we get an x squared tile, which is blue, and it's positive. Okay. So positive blue x tile square. So we have there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to continue going down the column, and we have the intersection of a green x bar and a negative one so that make that negative one unit will make the make an x bar here it will change that one not to negative so a negative x bar here same thing with the other four um, units in the x minus four so continue to draw these little x bars here And I'm filling them in red because they've been, as the x bar has been multiplied by the negative one unit. Okay. Now going into the next column, we have another x um, here, and we're going to intersect it again with that other positive x. So the positive x's intersect, and they become another positive x squared. Okay. And again, I'm going to continue on the bars. The x bar and the negative one units in this column will make negative x bars. Okay. 
Okay, and I'm gonna color them red because they're negative. Help keep track of that. Now on the homework, if you don't wanna use colors, you can use black and white, where the filled in black or shaded in algebra tiles are, are negative and the open ones are positive. Okay. In the last column I have that negative one in the two x minus one. And so I'm going to bring that with the intersection of the, the positive x bar from x minus four, I'll make a negative x bar here. And it turns out that I'm intersecting this negative one next with the negative one from the x minus four. And so those will become positive one units as we go down the column. And those ones were yellow colored because negative times negative is positive. Okay, so I have diagrammed everything out with algebra tiles. And what I need to do is I need to find the total. And we have 2x minus 1 times the quantity x minus 4. And that's equal to, let's see, let's label these here. We have an x squared here, x squared, negative x, negative x, negative x, negative x. Lots of negative x's, and then ones, positive ones. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine negative x's, so we have two x squared minus nine x plus four. That's our answer there. Okay, all diagrammed with pictures in, instead of symbol manipulation. Now the open box method is the next um, kind of step towards abstraction. We're going to, instead of drawing out all the tiles or using tiles as a concrete model, we're going to use a drawing, and that is the open box method. Okay. So we're going to do, now we're going to do um, 2x minus 1, the quantity 2x minus 1, times the quantity x minus 4 with open box method or this is the area method, like an area model. Okay. Kind of draw an open box like that. And we'll divide it into these parts because this part right here is going to be two X. This will be negative one from the two X minus one. So very similar to our algebra tiles part. This will be x and this will be minus four. That's gonna be my x minus four. Okay. Now, we've separated them up into terms and now we're gonna multiply each term by, its, by the others. And we do this with these boxes so it's easy to go with these boxes. So the first, inside the first box is gonna be two x times x, which is two x squared we're going to do negative one times x, which is negative x. We're gonna do two x times negative four in this one, which will be minus eight x. And in this one, we're gonna do negative one times negative four to give us positive four. Okay, so we've done all the partial products, okay, in this open box format. Okay, so we have these parts here are our partial products, and we're going to put them together. So we have 2x, quantity 2x minus 1 times x minus 4 is equal to 2x squared minus 8x minus x plus 4, which when we simplify the like terms combining them, we get 2x squared minus 9x plus 4, which is what we have from our algebra tiles setup. Okay, and that's open box method. The last method is going to be the partial products using the distributed property twice. Okay. So quantity two x minus one times quantity x minus four with partial products. As you can see, the partial products were derived from the open box method, so we're going to use 
He was distributed property twice. Okay. And so we're going to start out by just showing 2x minus 1 times x minus 4. Using, and this is going to be a step-by-step -step process with equations, so we'll use our equation string method. We're going to distribute the 2x minus 1 to each of the terms in x minus 4. So I take this one, multiply by x, and this one, multiply by minus 4, so distributive property. That's 2x minus 1 times x plus 2x minus 1 times negative 4. Okay. And now that's using the distributive property. So I'm going to label that. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to back distribute the x here to the 2x minus 1 and the minus 4 to the 2x minus 1. Okay. So that's the second time I'll use the distributive property. So I'll be distributed property here, 1. Okay. And then what we get is 2x times x minus 1 times x plus, and we ran out of room, so let's go down here, plus 2x times negative 4. Subtract 1 times negative 4. And that's when I use the distributive property the second time. Okay. This method is preferred over FOIL. Okay. Now FOIL will give you the same partial products, but because I have a binomial times a binomial, which means two terms times two terms. But we want to kind of avoid FOIL because we want to do just the, the concepts of distributive property so that when you have something like a two a three term polynomial times a two-term polynomial, then you know how, how it will work, how to expand it. Now let's go ahead and simplify by combining like terms. First, we will go with the 2x squared, um, and that's minus 1 times x, so it's going to be minus x. The 2x times negative 4 is going to be minus 8x, and then the minus 1 times minus 4 is going to be plus 4. And I combine these like terms to get 2x squared minus 9x plus 4. Okay. So there isn't really too much to the homework. Um, they, there is, you're just doing these um, algebra tiles and par, uh, open box and partial products with just a couple of polynomials. So let me know if you have any questions. That's all I got for today.